it's one of the best hospitals I've seen. I've seen a few. You know, I mean, the people just seem to care more here. You know, it's not like, well, this is just a job. I'll go in from nine to five and then I'm going home and forget it. It wasn't like that here. It was more, you know, this, this, this person's part of my family and I'm gonna take care of them. I remember that all the nurses uh, were really good to me, you know. If I needed a cover pulled up, it didn't matter. They'd come do it. Anything I needed, they was there. And uh, Jill stayed with me, and they made sure she had a blanket and a pillow. And uh, if I didn't eat something off of my tray, uh, milk or something like that, they would actually take it and put it in their refrigerator to keep it so if she wanted it, it would be there. And just, just little stuff like that, just, you know, I mean, our family nearly ended. And, uh, you know, stuff like that makes a big difference because they treat you like family. Uh, and I'll, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, they would come by off duty and check on him. The nurses, the techs, doctors, it, it, that was just amazing that they um, cared that much. When I had to leave him in trauma, um, they would say, you get you some rest, we'll take care of him. I knew he was well took care of because they was always caring and they was really good about keeping me posted. They were just really good about, you know, I'll check on it and don't worry about it. Or call Renee. Oh, yeah, my, we had a, a nurse that came in on her off, off duty. Uh, uh, Renee Mills, she came in, she didn't even have to. She wasn't even on call the day of the surgery, and she came in and checked on us on the you know, way out and stuff. And uh, they, they was all. And the tech people come in, bring me blankets, like he said earlier. Um, they thought of like when he had to get up to be moved, they said, I'm gonna hurry up and make his bed up while he's up, so I don't have to get him up again. I mean, they could have just easily, well, let's just get him up. I mean, it's the little things like that. And then one of the many restaurants, uh, I guess they sent me in there several times and they said, I, I, we just want to give you this cookie. And they just don't realize how much they done for me. You know, uh, just something like that, you know. But there was a, a lot of them that I just don't, I just wished I knew them uh, by their names. Housekeeping, you know, the housekeeping yeah, yeah. people, you don't know their names and they're not in the spotlight, but they were superb. Like we, we ran out of uh, the we had paper a, towels and uh, they says, is there anything? I said, well, we don't have any when you get a chance. I'll do it personally. And that and lady did. that lady went and done it personally. And it wasn't like the end of the day, I mean, she went and got it herself. Oh, and when the nurses would, well, I'm gonna be, I won't be back tomorrow. You know, they run their, when they come back, they said, well, I was hoping you'd still be here so we could see you and see how you were doing. And uh, so, you know, they was uh, keeping track. I've been keeping track by this nurse and that nurse, but I'm glad to see you. And you look better than when I left you, so, you know. Do you remember Miss Bridget? She came in, and tech. she had been working with Timothy, cleaning his room and stuff. And she come into Timothy and I are both named Timothy. So she came in Timothy's room. Is the wrong dude. <laughs> and yeah, she was real sorry that she was the tech. But you know, she I don't know her last put us name. together, but she said, Well, you're not the same guy. <laughs> but she she uh she was really sweet, I remember. Everybody um, was. Just just amazing.